Hello folks and welcome. So today's uh, video is about password managers. Nowadays we all have possibly over 60 usernames and passwords to all kinds of things. Banks, credit cards, utility bills, you name it. So I will talk about one application today and uh, it's available in your software manager and it's also available on the mobile device and I'll be talking about an iPhone specifically today. Linux Mint 22.1 Cinnamon, filming in 1080, but I'm in 4K mode. The uh, subscription logo is in the corner if you've never heard of my channel. I have uh, almost 600 videos. I generally demo everything in details. Uh, today I'm not going to open up a live password manager, but I will show you how to use one. We're going to start with the software manager. Software Manager contains over 60,000 applications, if you're not aware of this. They have a lot of things in the featured area that constantly change. So you may have some different thoughts, but the password manager that I'm going to talk about today is Bitwarden. If it's not here or somewhere in here, you can do a search for it. All right, so Bitwarden is a secure and free password manager for all your devices. I'm only going to talk about Linux Mint and an iPhone in this case. It is extremely simple to use. Generally on the application and also on your mobile device, it's just a plus key. You hit it. The most popular is the login records. Then card and identity can also be put in there. I even think it has notes in there too. And it puts them in alphabetical order after you create your records. Here's a typical one. Amazon, this could be a bank, credit card, and whatever else. So you're putting in sensitive information in here. So your next question is, is it encrypted? Well, there you have it. Now, I would suggest in case you decide to use Bitwarden is to create your records in the bigger screen, which is generally more than likely not going to be your mobile device. So if you got a computer with a decent screen and a keyboard, I would probably do all your records there first. If you decide to download uh, the Bitwarden, and I don't, I'm not getting paid for any of this, um, basically um, you would just put in your email address and a master password. And of course, I'm going to give you the advice, do not make that master password easily guessable. I think that goes along the lines of logic. Now. You do have a password generator also in case you're generating individual passwords, either through the mobile app or in the uh, regular application on Linux Mint in this instance. Now, I would create all your records on the computer because A, you probably have a better keyboard than the mobile device does and a bigger screen. So once the, all the records are created, then you can download the application and if it's an iPhone, you go to the iPhone store and download the app for Bitwarden. And then you just sign in with your email address and your master password. And the, their secure servers will download those records to your mobile device. And then on the mobile device, specifically on the iPhone, you do have facial recognition also that you can turn on instead of having to enter that master password. Now, some people don't feel comfortable with that. So the app on the phone actually requires you to put in that master password when you click this app. It's, well, we're dealing with a lot of sensitive records here. But at least you'll have your passwords in Mint and on your mobile device at your fingertips. So you can do edits either way. You can edit them here in case you need to regenerate new passwords for your current accounts, or you can just generate a generic password for the password generator. It's available on both the app and the mobile device. But creating the records, I, if you're going to use this, I would uh, probably do it on the bigger screen, whatever that screen might be. All right, let's go uh, take a quick look at their website. It's bidwarden.com. You can read more about it. And let's face it, we are all dealing with this almost on a daily basis nowadays. It's a good idea to maybe get some idea of how to manage our passwords. I don't know about you, but I, I read these articles almost uh, every week nowadays. 
for hackers and data breaches. Whatever you feel like, some people do not feel like using password managers, but password managers are a, a nice way to manage if you have records that exceed 50 plus. If you have a great memory of 50 plus passwords and usernames, then so be it. But in either case, check out Bitwarden. It is a free password manager. Thank you for watching.